What am I giving you right now? What is this category? Housewife realness? Waiting for her husband to get home? Yes. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so, yeah, this video is going to be uh, Q&A, kind of get to know me, chill with me on my couch, just chill with us basically. So, I feel like I want to show you guys more of who I really am and what I like and stuff like that just because I'm going through this journey in my life trying to figure myself out. So what better way than to kind of just get to know us a little bit more, you get to know me, um, so you can kind of see if you really do like me or not. Because I feel like through Instagram, you kind of just see the pretty side, which is very like everybody says that like you only see like one side of what people want to show you which is true we don't be posting the ugly so i feel like with these kind of videos you get to kind of figure out who the person really is their personality their vocabulary and things like that uh, and i know i like to kind of watch these kind of videos with people too so yeah so we got a little drink drink action going on here so a little asmr and then i got a little Y'all might know what this is, y'all might not know. If y'all do know, cheers, period. This trick is get your, and put a little bit of that in on it. Oh, it's so good. Cause I don't really like micheladas, but I don't know, if, like to me, they look bomb, like when other people drink them, but personally, I cannot drink them. So let's have a little taste test. Hmm. Let's get into these questions. Okay, so the first question is somebody asks is sweet or salty? Definitely salty. I'm more of like a savory person. Like I like chips, chile, limon, like stuff that's like salty. Um I used to be a really big like sweets person, but not anymore. Like I used to love like chocolates and stuff like that, but Recently, not really, like, I don't really fuck with cake, I don't really fuck with pastries like that, like, every now and then I'll create something sweet, but not really savory all the way, all savory all the way, baby. Um, next question is, favorite fast food or go-to place, and what is your order? Favorite fast food place, if I'm being completely honest, and you guys can judge me, is McDonald's. I know it's like the worst thing to eat and people look down upon it, but sometimes that 10 piece chicken nugget combo be heating. I don't care what y'all say, dip it into some buffalo sauce, those fries. It's so good! And then like a large Dr. Pepper, a large Powerade. That's my order, baby, right here. This is so good, but it's just annoying because it's getting all over my lips. Starbucks drink. Um, what would you recommend? So my Starbucks drink is usually a venti ice vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Um, it used to be something super, super sweet and a lot of people like it. So try it. It's a iced coffee with creamer, four pumps of classic, and four pumps of white mocha. And that's really good if you like sweet coffee. A lot of people or a lot of my friends um, call it the Madeline drink but I stole it from my old manager like a long time ago. But that drink is bomb. What's the most attractive thing on another person? Mm, the most attractive thing, I mean, I could be cliche and say their smile. That's, that's really like a big thing. Like somebody with a really pretty pearly white smile is everything. Like that's really sexy to me. Um, facial hair, like a guy with a lot of facial hair, like a good beard, my body. Um, and a lot of things, like, a lot of people find this weird, but I think feet and hands are attractive. Like, manly big hands is so hot to me. Like, I don't know, it's just like a type of hand that I'm attracted to. Like, 
I don't know. With my hands. Some people will understand, some people won't. What's the... <laughs> oh! Okay, so, I wish my best friend was here for this, but she's not. But what's the worst bathroom experience? Hold on, I need a drink for this. Story time. Okay, so basically, me and my best friend, her name is Viviana. Um, we went to the gay club. Um, everything was fine and dandy. Um, and usually when I go to the gay club, I like to express myself, I dress up, like, I'm, I feel free because you can be at the gay club and I feel like you feel like you're with your people. You should feel like you're with your people. Like, you shouldn't feel judged. I mean, other than the catty girls, but you should feel yourself. You should, you feel your oats, you wear whatever, right? So, usually when my friend wants to go to the bathroom, I'll go with her and we go to the girls' bathroom, right? So, we're already a few drinks in and we're in, we're in line to go to the bathroom. And so I go to the bathroom and the stalls usually, I don't know if it's just like a Texas thing or whatever, but a lot of them never have like locks on the stalls. So I usually like go in the bathroom and then I tell my friend like, oh, hold the door. So like, you know, nobody goes in there. And this is the girl's bathroom, but keep in mind, I feel comfortable with the way I look sometimes. To me, I feel more comfortable going into the girl's bathroom because there's been a lot of times where I do go to the guy's bathroom and I get like slick remarks or like I just get stared at and I feel really uncomfortable. Uh, but I mean, I don't really, when, I, when I'm out in public, I usually do go just to the guy's bathroom and fuck it, like suffer through it. But I mean, at the gay club, like everybody goes through whatever bathroom, whatever, like people go to the girl's bathroom, the boy's bathroom, whoever has the shortest line, right? So. I come out of the stall and I guess my friend is holding the door for some other girl like she told her to hold the door. So I get out and the line's like the line is right here for people to wait to use the stall. There's only two two stalls. So I get out and I'm washing my hands and I hear this girl say something but I really don't know what she's saying. And then she says it again, like she says it to her friend and she goes, that she goes, she goes, you're pretty, but you shouldn't be in here. All right, so usually I would let that go and be like, whatever, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, nothing like this has ever happened to me. And I don't know why, maybe because the drinks or maybe because I was just, like, annoyed or I don't know what happened to me, but I go up to the girl and I'm like, what did you say? And she goes, you're pretty, but you shouldn't be in here. So I go... I don't really know what happened, but because I mean a few drinks in there, but all I remember is like I got so like angry when she said that. I was like, you're in the fucking gay club and you're worried about me being in the bathroom. There was like three guys in front of us that went to the bathroom and she didn't have nothing to say about that. But when I come out of the stall, you want to say something? And it's not like I'm being like rude or it's not like I'm showing my private parts to everybody or anything. Like the stalls are closed. like. Like everybody was minding their business, mind your business. And I don't know why she just had to say that and I got annoyed and I got upset and I got mad. So I'm like, bitch, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you're at the gay club. Like, what kind of place is this? Like, why are you even here if you feel a type of way? Like, if, like if you're going to be mad about people using this, the bathroom, blah, 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 blah. And at this point, like, she goes into the stall and her friend's like, don't worry about it. Like, she's drunk or... Whatever she's saying, she's like, she's drunk, like, just drop it, just drop it, just drop it. But me, I'm furious. Like, I'm like, no, like, she's not going get, to get away with that. Like, like, how am I making you feel uncomfortable? Like, well, I don't know. Um, and I don't know where my friend Vivi comes out. I I don't know how where she was at when, I, when this was happening, but she comes out of nowhere. And all I remember is at this point, like, I think I was just like, fuck it, like, fuck this girl. And I start walking out of the bathroom. This bathroom is super small. And then, like, everybody in line is like, what's, what happened? Like, like, what's going on? And then, at this point, I'm super mad. So, I'm explaining to this girl. Because she's like, what's wrong, baby? Like, tell me what happened. And I'm telling her, well, she feels uncomfortable because I'm in the bathroom. And she's like, oh, hell no. Nah, blah, 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 blah. Because, obviously, I'm not going to hit a girl. And then, I turn around. And my big friend finding the girl. I'm like, oh, my fucking. So, they're pulling each other's hair and shit, and anyways, like, I separate my friend, and I'm like, nah, fuck this bitch, she's not worth it, like, 
like whatever, like whatever. So I grab my friend and I am able to get her out of there and then we go back to who we were with and then we tell them what happened because they're super mad, whatever. The night keeps going on, the night keeps going on and then all of a sudden my best friend's husband was like, those girls are recording on or something like that. So we all turn and it's the girls. So the girls are recording us. I don't know for what, probably just put us on Snapchat or whatever. And they're recording us. And at this point, I'm like, bitch, like, what more do you want from us? Like, so I go over there and I'm like, bitch, what are you recording? Like, mind your fucking business. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we, go, we end up going back and forth. And then, like, everybody in the club, because that club is super tiny. Everybody's like, what's going on? Um... And everybody's asking me, like, what's, what's happening, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling everybody, I'm like, well, they feel uncomfortable because I go to the bathroom. And everybody starts getting into it. And everybody's like, what the fuck? What is she mad about? We're at the gay club. Everybody goes to the bathrooms, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so I don't know what ended up happening. The girls walked outside. And then the cops come inside because there's always cops at the club that we were at. And the cops are like, you need to come with us because the girls are saying that you bit them, or some shit like that. And they keep going back and forth, they say that I bit them, that the husband bit them, that this person bit them. I'm like, bitch. But, long, to make a long story short. To make a long fucking story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. There was, that was the most annoying experience I've ever had in my life is, if you go to a gay club, and you know what, if you have your own beliefs, perfect, um, Everybody has their own thoughts, but the thing that is irritating is that as part of the LGBTQ community, you go to like a gay bar or to a gay club to enjoy yourself, to feel like you're welcome there. And to have these girls tell me that I can't use the bathroom, that I shouldn't be using the bathroom because I'm making them uncomfortable is really annoying because I'm not doing anything to you and why are you even at the gay club? And I, if you find me, whatever I am, you don't know me, whatever I am, offends you. Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. You're probably just here with your girls, think it's cute, you have one gay best friend, and that's it. But don't go to the gay club if you don't fuck with gay people, period. Oh my god, I need like a drink. I hope that story made sense. I know that story was everywhere, but anyways, that's enough on that topic. Moving on. So... Somebody said, money or freedom? Freedom, definitely. Um, I was at this job for a very long time and I got to a point where I was just very unhappy. Every day I would wake up and I didn't want to be there. Um, you just kind of start growing this attitude and everything just kind of irritates you no matter what. Um, and I didn't want to be that person so I chose my freedom, like having my own life, like outside of a nine to five job and focusing on me. And I always tell people this, like, you gotta worry about what you want in life because you only live this life once. And like, wouldn't you hate to think that when you're dying, you said, damn, I fucking stayed at that fucking job for 10 fucking years, minimum wage or a little bit more, whatever it is. And you are unhappy every fucking day. And I know what you guys, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, those people that you go to and they're miserable at their job, they're always fucking mad, they have an attitude, they don't want to be there, they have a bitch face. Those people that make going to a place uncomfortable or just annoying that you don't even want to go places. And I feel like that's why a lot of people just stay at home or they don't want to socialize with other human beings because everybody got an attitude nowadays. So I do, going back to the question, I'm always getting sidetracked, but Freedom over money. Three things that make you happy. Uh, one thing is my family. I love my family. I love my siblings. Like everybody's so different and everybody has their own thing. Like they're also funny. They're also like they're just themselves. And I love my mom and I love my dad. Um, I miss them sometimes. I miss my mom cooking. Second thing that makes me happy is art. And categorize of that is like makeup, fashion, clothes, um, 
pop culture, all of that stuff I feel like makes me really happy. Like I really enjoy makeup and getting ready, getting hair and changing up my look and dressing up. I really enjoy that. Like a lot of people find getting ready a drag, but I love like getting ready and looking cute. Like to me, I find joy in that. Third thing that makes me happy is I don't know. Coffee? Coffee? Coffee because it keeps me sane. Somebody asked, what is your dream job? And my dream job is to be Kim Kardashian's assistant. So, not just assistant, but I would love to be her makeup artist, her stylist, her hairstylist, any of the above, something. As long as I get to work with her. Um, but that would be my dream job just because I can't explain it, and I don't know how to break it down to you guys, but I'm just obsessed with Kim Kardashian. Like, to me, she exudes, like, glam, style, like, she's such a beautiful woman to me, and I feel like she's one of those people, like, I just would want to have her as, like, a model, if whatever, like, if I had a, a fashion line or anything like that, but she's, like, the vibe, basically. Like, her hair, to the way she does makeup, to how she dresses, like, I feel like she's one of the people that has revolutionized how we do things nowadays. Like, everything that we do is has something to do with the Kardashians, basically. The way the girls dress nowadays, the ways we do our makeup has come from, like, Kim Kardashian and stuff like that, or her makeup artist. But I feel like she has a very big influence on all of us, which I love that. She has so much power in this world. Um, and it's just crazy to me. So that would be my dream job, just to work with her. Um, but it, that's very far-fetched, but, uh, to be a stripper, I would love to see what it was, to what it, to be what it's like, to see what it's like to be a stripper for like a day. I have a lot of dream jobs, but one of them is to work with Kim Kardashian and just be like somebody's personal, like somebody that I had a really good relationship, friendship with, to be their personal makeup artist. I feel like that'd be really fun to have like a good connection with somebody and work with them and be able to like talk about looks and come up with ideas and stuff like that. That would be really, really good. Because I feel like it's one thing to be a makeup artist, but then it's one thing to have like a relationship with somebody that you feel like you guys kind of bounce ideas off each other, create looks, makeup vibes and stuff like that. So that's one of my dream jobs. Three must have beauty products. Moisturizer, any type of moisturizer, concealer, because you can use it as your concealer, foundation, spot conceal, and bronzer, baby. Duh. Um, what other questions? I feel like you guys have a lot of questions about my hair too, and who I get my hair done by, and stuff like that. So I get my hair done. I live in New York now, but I used to get my hair done in Texas. Good old Texas, um, and I don't know where I'm going to get my hair done now, uh, but a lot of people ask me how I maintain it, um, how I keep it so healthy with it being so processed, so basically it's just, don't wash your hair a lot, try to avoid a lot of heat, I mean it's hard, but try to avoid it, and use, I use a hair mask every time I wash my hair, so every time I wash my hair I do a, a deep conditioning mask, for at least five to ten minutes, um, and then do whatever you gotta do with the shower, shave, wash your body fully, whatever. And also try to give your hair a break, like every now and then, like like right now I have in a leave-in conditioner with some hair oil, so I can kind of I give it a break. So when I do straighten it, curl it, whatever it is, it has a little bit of breaks in between. But in the future, I'll make a more in-depth video on how like what my favorite hair products are, uh, what I like to use in it, my favorite shampoo and conditioner, all that stuff. So that was it for the questions. Y'all was trying to get a little deep and a little too juicy, but thanks so much for asking. Uh, I hope you guys grabbed your beverages and for sipping with me or doing your makeup, whatever it is. Now I'm hungry and I want to figure out, I need to figure out what I'm going to eat. Hopefully I'm going to make a hair video to show you guys I love my hair products and how I curl my hair, how I straighten my hair, because you guys do have a lot of questions about that. I really enjoyed this little video though. 
very chill, very relaxed vibes. Um, what do you guys think of this setup? Comment below your thoughts on my story and how you guys feel about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Maro, M-A-U-R-O, Mad Glam, and just be my friend. Or if you're new and you find my channel through this thing we call the internet, let me know. And until next time, my friends.